I began working in the public in 1999 and have maintained a steady, uncommissioned urban practice since. I like the immediacy, I like the secrecy, I like the exposure, I like being stealth, I like pretending to be drunk and or on my phone, I like to have a plan. I like the activation of public spaces. I am a believer in the freedom of visual speech. I believe in freedom. Mostly classical radio, some pusher tea, a bit of techno and the rest just rubbish. Going through trash on the sidewalk, antique stores, shopping for flowers. I like to skateboard with my son, eat nice food, take walks in the gardens go on dates, get dressed up, read, spend hours in second-hand bookstores. Same as everybody, I suppose. When something is done, it feels done. Sometimes I can take it too far, or occasionally in hindsight, I will realize I could have done more. I'm interested in breaking art. It is an absurd concept that I like to keep close to mind as if it were possible. Essentially, each piece is different in many ways from its location and subject matter. The overriding theme when it comes to public paintings is that of freedom. I try to keep it simple, and in doing so discover many fundamental philosophical currents. I believe that public places are a place for public people. I continually find myself debating and sometimes fighting for freedom. At times I feel as though I am a freedom fighter, fighting for the freedom of visual speech. Once I would have said the moon, now I have a plan to paint the icebergs in Antarctica. Questions like that, or maybe answers like these? Not sure exactly, probably a bit of this and a bit of that and a whole bunch of hard fucking work. It is always a little different. When I think I have the pattern sorted, I realize that it's all a sham, and I find myself back at the drawing board. So short answer, I draw, then think, write some notes, then think some more, prepare my surfaces, then go for it. Sometimes the preparation is enough, sometimes it is far too much. Somewhere in between giving too much or too little of a shit, I find myself facing my fears, and that is where I am at my best, and when I shine brightest. The product of this is what I find myself calling my artworks complete. And thus the whole process of working my way around a planet-sized apple begins once more. Absolutely it does. To act with freedom and confidence is to behave fearlessly and yes with that comes experimentation. And that inevitably finds one in places both failure and success. Painting is problem solving and problem solving is natural forced into action by problem creating. My instinct tells me no, that creativity is something that comes from deep within your soul and transmitted through tools that your character and spirit wield. If an artwork makes me smile, I consider it good. If an artwork makes many people smile for whatever reason, I consider it successful. To build exciting and adventurous exhibitions in museums around the world, to echo in eternity, for my work to inspire positivity and astute individual introspection.